So this is the fifth and final video in our, well, it was supposed to be a four-part series. I decided to break out my kind of overall feelings of the setup process here at the very end. So let's go through it. Okay, folks so thank you for going through the whole set if you haven't watched the other four videos uh, they're all linked down below they're all gonna be attached to this video here at the end um, and basically we went through and I, I, I separated all about each uh, each product got its own video um, not to say that either of these to be honest needed their own because the setup is basically identical other than one went outside one went inside so you at least got to see how how they mount so that is it is different but I just wanted to go through a few things. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've actually did the setup. I've actually, I, I recorded this this video here at like at the day after, and I decided, you know what, I, I really want to redo that. I want to have a little more mindset on how the actual videos or how the whole install went, had some time to process it through my brain uh, since it's been uh, a couple weeks. This is a small business class product, right? This is not designed, and I've said this before, uh, it's not for your home. I mean, obviously you can't use it in a home environment, but it's not really built for that, right? It's built for the small business owner. If you are a small business owner, you've been using Linksys and, and, and stuff that you bought at the store locally, at your local Walmart or Best Buy or wherever, Amazon, not that you can't get this stuff uh, other places, but those consumer-based products are no match for what these can offer. And the best part about these, and this is something that I learned in setting these up, is that they are not hard to set up at all. They give you more information uh, at a, your fingertips through the app you or through the web portal. You can see more information on these that you can see on any consumer-based system I have ever used. And I've used a lot of them. Probably more than most people have used. So, to to you know, people look at this and it's like, man, look at all those pieces. Holy cow! How am I going to set this up? This is really easy, and I think my videos kind of show it. I went into it. I didn't watch a single video of anybody else setting these up. I went into it trying to say, all right, I'm going to use my knowledge that I've used on you know that of all the setups I've ever done. I'm going to use it towards to, towards doing these videos, uh, but I wanted to be. Uh, kind of a noob at it. I didn't want to be able to have touched these stuff, this stuff before. Now I've set up, you know, like that Cisco switch I had prior. Uh, I set that up myself. Um, I don't know if I showed that in the video, but I do have a Cisco switch. But that, and that is a managed switch. I don't really do a whole lot with it. It works really good. It's loud. It's noisy. It creates a lot of heat. Much better for the environment that I'm placing it to is is this Unify switch basically almost completely quiet like you can't hear it run at all it does have a fan built in there uh which obviously you can ramp up if it needs to keep cool uh yes not all 24 ports have poe or poe plus on them but you know 16 of them do and uh that's way more than i will need uh so for what it does this whole system is 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 fantastic the dream machine pro in all reality, I think most people, if you, if you, depending on the size of business you have and how many wired devices you have, the eight-port switch that's built into this may be enough for you. Um, it's, it's a solid product; it really is. Uh, but having the backbone, having a separate switch that can house all of my wired devices, and I've only wired up half, uh, about half of the stuff to it, so I have quite a few open ports currently. That's slated to close here in the next, uh, whatever, whenever I get to all that stuff too. So, uh, and then these two access points, man, are they easy to set up. To be honest, the easiest way that I could describe setting these up is you mount them where you want to mount them, you plug them in, and plug them in being plug them into the system, right? After you have these set up, you open up the app. Once it's booted up, it'll showcase in the app and you hit the adopt button. That's it. That's legitimately it. The only other point is if you haven't set the uh, a Wi-Fi access, or uh, basically the, the Wi-Fi uh, 
network name and password and everything. You set that up through the Dream Machine because this is your controller. This is what controls these guys. Now, you can use these without the Dream Machine, right? I can actually set these up independently. Just by itself, I can actually connect directly to it, create an SSID and password on this device, and as long as I plugged it into the internet in my house, this will work. It doesn't really require the Dream Machine from what I can tell. But with the Dream Machine, it's amazing what it can do. And I can't wait to show you in my full video, uh, my full video review of the system um, on TechGooch, which is going to come soon, uh, I promise. Um, it is great. In this video, and this is going to be a short recap, I'm not going to go too long here. Setup wise, if you are worried about how hard it is to set the system up, don't worry. It is extremely easy. You can set it up with a smartphone with an app, and it walks you through the setup. You can set it up through the computer, direct connect through an IP that has to be plugged in or, or connected to the, to the Dream Machine, but it is very easy. To be honest, the app is the way I would set it up, and the computer program gives you some, or I should say the, the web access on the computer gives you a lot more details into all the nuances and all the things you can do. So um, I can't wait to show you more when I do the review video because that's we're going to go in depth of how the back end works, all the stuff that you can change with it. And I've learned so much in the couple weeks since I've had it set up. I've been messing with it on, on my phone. I've been messing with it on my computer. So yeah, it was pretty awesome. I apologize for my nose. My nose is really just going crazy today. I actually have been going crazy the last week or so. Um, Thank you for putting up with that. I apologize. That said, guys, I just want to say here at the end, thank you, Ubiquity, for allowing me to do this video. It has opened my eyes. And I, to be honest, I had a feeling of how good your product was because I've used several of your other products uh, from the Amplify series. But this, for, for, for small business purposes, uh, I can't understand why small business users would not look at this product right away because to be honest for the price it's a really good value it gives you stable solid fast really good internet it's easy to set up and manage without needing an it degree right anybody could do this as long as they have any kind of sense on how to use an app right it's really not hard uh, and more than anything else, if you have questions, there's obviously my videos and there's, I'm sure there's lots of other videos out there on how to do this stuff. So if you know of anybody that owns a small business or is looking to uh, do an upgrade on their, on their network, at their, you know, at wherever they are, um, definitely share this video with them, uh, share this whole set of videos with them. And uh, hopefully they find it. They, uh, they, they take a peek at this stuff because it's awesome. And I can't wait to show you the back end. I really can't wait to do that. That'll be on TechGooch. That will also be linked to this video or the other videos as well. So reviews are coming. So that said, guys, thank you very much for sticking to the end here. Thank you for watching the entire setup. If you have, if you haven't, hey, go watch it because it was fun. I learned a lot and I hope you learned a lot too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, everything you do. Hopefully you enjoy this and we'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for more set up videos tutorials all the fun that we have and if you like my shirts i do have a, a shirt store where I'm, this is one that i designed so i have a whole bunch that i have coming out so i'll link that down below as well so thanks for watching we'll catch you back soon see you later